Today is the 17th of August, 2022. You're looking at the passenger side to a 2010 Road Trek Versatile. 210 is about 21 foot uh, 8 inches long, bumper to bumper. I believe before you put the spare tire uh, into effect. This is a full down tire carrier. It's released by a little clip in the back. Um, I'm going to do a walk around real quick here. This has got the original wind guard or wine guard antenna, crank up antenna from inside. You can pull in a good 35 to 50 channels depending where you're at without having to get a, a dome antenna or anything. This is the front. Within the last month I replaced both front headlights, uh, the, the shells, the assemblies. Got the original still in a box with the light bulb so you can still use them. I just hose down the front so it's a little bit wet. Passenger, or I'm sorry, the driver's side. This has got a storage compartment underneath here. That's for the refrigerator access. This is the hot water tank heater uh, access. Just on uh, Monday afternoon, $12.65, I replaced the anode in here. The one that was in here was in still condition, but I didn't know since I never fired up the hot water tank, uh, what condition it was in, so I just took it off for $12.65. Hosed out the tank. This is a storage compartment for your power cords, outside shower, uh, access to your cable. Let's say uh, there's a little cable jack in there. Storage for your coax line. So we've got some traffic going by outside here. Um, what else? Uh, your power cord, plumbing, and so on. Your, your shore water, and so on. Side view, aftermarket uh, air vent cover. Look at the uh, driver's door open for the condition of the inside. There's a little bit of discoloration right here. No tears otherwise. This button right here is for the macerator. I replaced this uh, when I first bought the motorhome a year ago. This is a uh, potable water for your large uh, water tank for your, uh, not your winter camping, but your normal use. This is a uh, catch to release so you can swivel the seat. Um, I installed a brake control module right there when I first got this home. This light affects the little courtesy lights at the bumper. We've got electric windows, electric door locks. Uses unleaded fuel. In the home, when I first bought it, it had uh, uh, provisions for, sorry, it had provisions for the uh, for a screen in the back. And unlock the back door here. The screen was missing, so I made a screen so it's both. It's a two-panel screen with a zipper down the middle, zipper on the side, so you can take this entire thing off if you open up this door. Storage up underneath, storage for your awning um, turn mechanism, plus this is a center support for the awning, potable water for your winter camping and so on. I installed two backup cameras, one points down to the bumper hitch, the other would look back, back past in case you don't want to look through this split in the van chassis that originally came in this home. Camera's up over uh, the driver's uh, head. This is uh, another storage unit. Two house batteries and the vehicle battery. This is two six volt batteries. The vehicle is 12 volt. Two house batteries and the vehicle battery were probably replaced in the year that I bought, uh, not from me, but from the prior owner. Looking into the driver's door. Another trip mechanism so the seat can, seat can swivel, electric uh, control for forward and back. This is a little holder I used for, instead of changing out the working uh, AM FM radio with CD player that does work, I made a shelf to put a uh, little, what's called a meeting mate. I bought it Best Buy, Bluetooth uh, operated, a couple speakers, uh, so mounts on there, plus there's a couple holders for your... Um, cell phone if that's going to be the case. This cabinet 
was not here when I bought the home. This versatile comes with the fourth seat operation or option. You have a behind the driver's uh, seat. You have a uh, seat back with storage underneath. Um, seat cushions, seat back, and then along the, the side, <clears throat> there's a passenger armrest that lifts up and there's storage up underneath there. This had a cushion with a seat back. I took this out <clears throat> in order to put a cabinet in here. And on this side in particular, for easier access through here, a 2009 road trek I had, cabinet came out to about here. So you had to twist in order to get in. The hole made it very awkward. Uh, so I reduced that on this particular home uh, since I'm by myself didn't need to have the seat behind the passenger So I took it out to put a cabinet in Inside the home The usual versatile amenities what I liked about the versatile is that the driver's seat back can actually recline on the popular I had was a cabinet right here and you couldn't recline the seat past vertical slide it back or whatever. So I picked up bursitis in it. So I decided if I ever got another road trick, it would be a 210 versatile, much airier appearance through all the way through this entire area right through here, as well as seeing to the back. That is the split in the door that I was talking about. If you want to see past that, the monitor, seven inch monitor, and the two cameras are operated by toggle switches I put right up overhead. Um, I did install, I believe it was, well, actually, no, on this end, the 2007, what I used was a USB port jack to go into the cigarette lighter. More than adequate. So, uh, so this retains the original cigarette lighter, um, adapters. This one retains the original surround sound system speakers. I just, I didn't remove them, even though I no longer... You have the receiver, which they don't longer make. So I opted for a sound bar in the back of the home. So you have storage up through here. Along the sides. This is one of the poles for the for one of the two uh, tables that mount in here. This is the breaker panel, power panel. You have a cabinet, a countertop, I'm sorry, that pulls out to the side, if you will. To expose your two burner LP stove, you can see how clean this is. Microwave, coffee pot, never tried it, so I don't know if it works, but I'm assuming everything else, as everything else does, does. As of Sunday, um, when I was showing the home to somebody else, I have never, in my time I've ever using a road trek motor home or any RV that I've had going back to 1996, I've never used the refrigerator. I've never used the stove. I've never used the furnace. Uh, the things I have used are air conditioning and the TV and so on. So I want those things to work. But out of curiosity, decided to fire up the refrigerator. It does work. This is a AC, DC, LP gas refrigerator. For it to work efficiently, it has the home has to be level. I think it's built out, out of uh, like off of using hydrogen or something like that. Uh, carpeting comes up if you want to shower in the inside here. So this has got the um, larger uh, bath area, fully functional, stool works fine, sink works fine, you can stand up in here, um, versus uh, pulling the, the curtain out, wrapping around and doing a shower out in the, in the middle of, of the aisle here. But I found in the, in the process of firing up the hot water heater for the first time, yes, uh, the water was turned off to it. So you need to make sure that the water uh, fills the tank before you fire up your uh, hot water heater, no matter when. It does run off a 12 volt DC to begin with. I was unaware of that. I'm not one, a great one for reading instructions. But I found that this light would not activate the reset light up in, in the on position. Uh, sorry, I turned off the heater. But the um, generator's got 247 hours. But anyway, fuse number, uh, or the position number six is a 10 amp fuse, and that's for the hot uh, water tank. And when I took the fuse out and put it back in, the red light, the reset light came on, went out after about 20 seconds. 
And I took the fuse out thinking, that, well, maybe the fuse was blown, and it wasn't. I put it back in, light came back on again, went out again. But this time, I, uh, when I listened intently, I could hear the LP ignite uh, on the outside of the home uh, where the hot water tank is at. And in 15 minutes' time, I had running hot water to uh, the, the home. So this has got the inverter, of course, your, your uh, starter. Uh, starts up easily enough. Let's see if we can fire this up real quick here. This is a cold start. If you hear this or not, it's not been run in at least a week. Uh, your lights, all your function of the panel works fine. I've been dropping some water into here, so the gray tank has started to fill up a little bit. Um, air conditioning unit up overhead. You got storage here and there. Electric seat comes down uh, when you exercise the switch on the side here. You see the seat going down. One of the tables that's inside this uh, side cabinet. Is for filling in a space from here to here, and then you use your additional cushions to fill this in if you want to have a full bed area back here. This is designed for one or two people sleeping in this direction from driver to passenger side. I believe it is about 78 inches from there to there. I am six foot tall, shrinking a little bit, uh, but this accommodates me without the shoes on and with a pillow at my head with plenty of room. Uh, whether in this position or in a down position. So storage, storage, AC unit, storage for electronics, new TV, new sound bar, come out in this direction for viewing. I replaced this screen, couldn't find one online by anybody who makes it, so I made this screen. It looks okay. Um, aside from that, kitchen sink, storage, storage, storage storage and um if you have any questions i guess uh, what else could i answer real quick here like i said uh as of uh sunday afternoon i unfurled the awning for this home and it works out fine i'll probably send a picture of that i did like the two burner stove um lp using the extended uh butane lighter uh, to light this and uh, so stove works, refrigerator works, hot water works, air conditioning works. Uh, it's a good home. It's not torn up. Um, I replaced these covers with a thicker material that I made myself. Uh, again, the wine guard antenna. I have not changed out to LED bulbs in here. haven't had no need to do so. So that is about it for now on this motor home. Yeah, I do have it for sale. But I'm not uh, underselling the home. For versatiles, you don't find them very often, you popular as you do. Uh, this is a 210, po uh, 210 versatile. It's not a 170. It's not a 190. So if you ever come to my property, kindly don't insult me by pointing out that, that this is too expensive and you're comparing it to a 190 or, or a 170. Um, also, I'm sorry, this has got a pull-out pantry as well. Small little pantry unit for those that want a little additional storage. Let's see if I can get things up here. There you go. Just one other additional feature of this home. Hopefully that helps you. It's a nice uh, home um, based on its age, condition, amenities. Exterior is as nice as the interior.